I've been vicar at the Ascension for coming up to nine years. And we'd had this idea over the years of doing a service specifically targeted at uh, parents of little ones and preschoolers and primary school age because we're in the area of London that's often called Nappy Valley. And um, everywhere you go, there's there's a buggy, there's a stroller. And um, COVID hit and we went into lockdowns and we crazily thought this is the perfect time to launch one of these services because one of the few things that we're allowed to do is to actually go to church provided we stayed in our bubble. And therefore we came up with the name of Bubble Church. And um, basically the, the the format was that um, families would come in and they'd sit on their bubble, which was a little blue uh, carpet, a circular carpet. And uh, we'd ask people to sit on their bubble all together as little families separated from one another. And there'd be coffee, croissant, and then Bubble Church, the service would kick off. Um, so yeah, it was very exciting. What was reaction initially like for those families attending? Because for many of us, it might seem a long time ago, but just thinking of our own families that we perhaps social, socially bubbled with, they were vital things for us at the time. Absolutely. I mean, looking back now, there were there were very few things we could do at one point. I mean, I think it was things like one hour of exercise a day or something like that. And I mean, I myself have two young children. I've got a four-year-old and a two-year-old. And I think in fairness, that really helped because there was very little else that people were allowed to do. And so when they found out that this thing called Bubble Church was happening, it was, hooray, we can come and do this thing and actually have some quality time outside of the house, outside of the home um, with with our little ones. And I think that's, that's something that we really realized is that sitting together in, in a bubble as a family, everyone on the same level, everyone... Um, engaging together with with the service was was part of really what made it um, so enjoyable for everyone, I think. I guess a couple of years ago, in the height of the pandemic, many people were asking questions, the big questions of life as well. What's fascinating is it's more than that. Seeing the level of commitment from families, the number of baptisms that's gone up and just the growth within your community. Yeah, that's right. I think what, what's good about it, I mean, the format is so simple. It's a half hour service, 9.30 on a Sunday morning. It involves puppets, a Bible story, uh, an action song. And then there's a little sort of uh, Hessian bag on each bubble and inside there's some kind of object. It's a craft or a, a little game or something that families can use to reflect and pray together. And I think it did provide that space, not just for the children, but for the adults to have that time carved out where they're able to reflect a little bit on life and what's going on for them. And I think the thing for me as a vicar that I was so excited about was we started to realize that eight out of 10 of the families coming had not been to church before. These weren't people who were churchgoers and had decided to come to the Ascension Ballon because they were doing something. These were people in the community who had suddenly discovered something that they felt could be church for them. And they were on that journey of faith as well as their children all at the same time. So I think it it, it provided and continues to provide a, a, pro- a profound moment in the week for everyone. And do I understand right that parents actually, some of them meet during the week now? That's right. So we've, we've very much tried to communicate that this is church this isn't some kind of pathway to church and I remember a parent just um, a couple of months ago talking to another parent and they they said oh you know this is our church bubble church and um, I knew for a fact that they'd never been to church prior to going to bubble church and one of the things we've therefore started to say is look do you want uh, to meet as adults at one of our midweek uh, discipleship groups, one of our midweek Bible study groups. And we have formed our first Bubble Church Connect group, which is on a Wednesday evening. And um, there's around 12 adults now in that group, and they meet together and eat together and are now able to journey with their own faith together. And that's that's been just wonderful. What about trying to blend intergenerational worship still with the rest of the community? It's been interesting in that there's no doubt about it. This is a service that is specifically 
aimed at parents of little ones and, and, and little ones. And we make no bones about that. And in that respect, it can really uh, deliver against the sort of life stage they're at. Um, but what we've started to find is something really fascinating that as um, the children start to grow up and in some ways, maybe even slightly grow out of bubble church, they're now starting to form our ministry team uh, on bubble church. So whether that's doing the puppets, whether that's helping lead the service, even being on welcome, things like that. And we've started to see some of the older children now, um, form part of the team that makes bubble church happen at the same time some of the um more senior folk in our congregation have just loved being involved and helping with bubble church and seeing church growth and seeing young people coming into the church for them has just been wonderful and really really encouraging what do you make of the expansion then because i understand there are a number of churches that now have the funding to have a go at bubble church themselves you know what? I'm so excited about this innovation funding. Um, I'm really excited to see um, how Bubble Church can bless other communities and other churches and see God's kingdom grow in different parts of, of the UK. Um, a friend of mine who's a vicar in North London, um, before we got the funding, he had been our first sort of pilot. And he he phones me up on a regular basis and he says, you know what, Marcus? Bubble Church is the best thing we're doing at the moment. And he's finding it so encouraging seeing more and more people come to the church that he's leading. And uh, he told me a lovely story, actually. He said that uh, one of the people who came said that his daughter, who's four, keeps asking, is it time yet for Bubble Church? Can we go to Bubble Church? And he has to keep telling her that there's a few more days left until we reach the Bubble Church day. So, um, you know what? I've, I've not always had that kind of response to the services that we put on but there seems to be something about this that is really engaging and I'm I'm just so excited that if we can help other churches and uh, resource other churches to to roll this out in their context in their communities if this can be a blessing to them then uh, that is just wonderful. What about what this has taught you, what God has taught you through this experience the last couple of years? Because they have been immensely difficult for so many church leaders. And yet for you, seeing the, you know, the inspiring church growth and the relationships being formed and founded within your community for other individuals, what has God specifically been revealing to you these past couple of years? I think when I became a vicar here, I had this idea in my mind of the people that I thought that I wanted to reach with the good news of Jesus. And I'd been a young professional in London myself, and I was set on the idea that, you know, the Ascension Ballon was going to reach these uh, young professionals in their 20s and 30s. And, you know, how on earth are we going to do that? And and for several years, I, I, I really worked hard on that and saw very little in terms of uh, kind of tangible results. And one day I just sensed, insofar as we sense these things, God saying to me, who are the people I've actually put on your doorstep, Marcus? And it was all these young families. And we have a cafe here at the Ascension as well. And we're, we're full of young families. And I said, Lord, it's the young families. And he kind of said, well, they're the people I've given you and get on with it. And I think that was a real pivotal moment for me, which is uh, the old, uh, Lord, what do you want? Not what do I want? And uh, it took me a few years to get there, but um, he made his point well. And uh, seeing what's happened now, I I wish I got there sooner. (laughs) Marcus Gibbs is the vicar at Ascension Ballum. Thank you so much for being with us today on UCB. It's a real pleasure. Thank you.